Well, to begin with, immigration is necessary for our country, but you need to have a legal process to come here legally. But when you have a violation of the law, which has now gotten out of hand with such a large number of illegals coming to not just Los Angeles County, but to our, to our nation, it's having a severe impact at all levels of government. Now to bring it home to Los Angeles County, uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a multi-billion dollar problem. It's a catastrophe. Uh, as you look at the cost for welfare and food stamps for children of illegal aliens, uh, that's uh, over uh, $420 million a year. You look at the cost for the jails, the justice system, that's about $250 million a year. And you're looking also at the impact that it's having on our public defenders, our district attorneys, the probation department, and the courts. It's a severe impact. Then you look at the hospital, the medical side. Uh, it is, uh, I would say, close to $400 million. And we're not talking about those dollars that are reimbursable by state and federal government. We're talking about those that are not uh, reimbursable. So you're looking at over a billion dollars there. And again, in the hospitals, you have a large number of people going to the emergency rooms for non-emergency purposes because many times uh, illegals will use the uh, 911, uh, the emergency rooms for a health center visitation need instead of an emergency room immediate attention. Um, so that's an impact on our ability to provide emergency services in a timely manner. You need legal immigration. It's, it's vital to the health and security of our nation. But illegal immigration is a, is a slap in the face for those people and those families that are here legally trying to get their family to come here legally. And as a result, uh, if you break the law, you get here. If you abide by the law, you never get the opportunity to visit your family or, or go through a, a normal immigration uh, request being, being met. It happened by having a failure, and I would blame both administrations in failing to uh, uh, enforce the law. And that failure has resulted in a catastrophic economic impact, uh, not just to the budgets, but to the quality of life. You look at housing, you look at congestion on the highways and freeways, uh, you have congestion because uh, people didn't anticipate you'd have one or two million people more coming in here and using our infrastructure because it wasn't built for that type of a, uh, uh, let's say, growth, uh, quickly, a growth that came quickly. Uh, usually you build your infrastructure knowing you're going to have a certain percentage increase each year and so you thereby uh, meet those uh, necessary modifications and construction projects, be it uh, roads, housing, or whatever. But here you had an onslaught. And as a result, uh, the quality of life has deteriorated. And that's why you see in the, uh, let's say, Los Angeles City uh, proper, a, a great exodus moving out to other areas, the Santa Cruz Valley, uh, other counties. And, and it's, it's the quality of life. It has really been uh, the people who have allowed illegal immigration to come in here at such vast amounts a disservice to those that are here legally and Americans that are citizens. Well, regardless of ethnic background, there is a concern. In fact, we just did a poll in our district and this was a very high, uh, it's one of the highest uh, concerns that, that uh, the constituents had, regardless of uh, ethnic or political uh, philosophy. And they, they were not against legal immigration. It was illegal immigration that they were concerned about. The media, will blur the distinction. The, uh, uh, those, uh, basically, I would say the left-wing uh, social service providers and uh, political fronts for uh, uh, illegal aliens will blur it and say immigration. And it's not immigration that the concern is. It's the illegal part. Right. And, and talking to people that have come here legally are, are perhaps the most frustrated, and the reason they have to fill out reams and reams of paperwork. They have to wait in long lines. It's a very difficult process to go through. And it's so much red tape. They did it, and then they see their neighbor. He comes here illegally and begins getting benefits. That's stupid. That's bizarre. Nobody would have thought that uh, you would have a, a system of law, a nation of law, 
that would turn a blind eye to those who break the law and not just break the law to come here, but break the law and then begin receiving benefits for being here as a reward. If the law is enforced in five years, we'll have a, 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 a reduction and, and control over illegal immigration. If we had the status quo, uh, then we we're going to have a problem. Now, what's encouraging in, um, in, in Arizona, the governor signed legislation that uh, puts disincentives for businesses who hire illegals. And as a result, they're having an exodus from Arizona back to Mexico because of this law. And if we will start enforcing those laws that uh, don't reward uh, people who hire illegal aliens, that would, that would be a step forward. If we can enforce the law that requires Social Security verification, that will enforce the law. But the ACLU has filed a lawsuit against that uh, provision of the law, and we're hopeful that, this, uh, that the Supreme Court will allow Social Security verification to be the law of the land, as passed by Congress. The Chamber of Commerce and the ACLU have joined together in trying to uh, prevent this from being uh, the law of the land, and I am hopeful that the Supreme Court will use reason and judgment that you cannot falsify your Social Security card and have a job that if you are here legally, fine. But if you're not, you're not going to be rewarded. And let me add another uh, impact that we have. The, um, I believe it's the Bank of Mexico reported that nearly uh, $24 billion is sent out of our nation each year to Mexico. Now it's down from uh, the previous year because of the slump in housing. But again, we're talking about uh, nearly $24 billion of hard currency being shipped out of our country to Mexico by people that are here basically illegally sending their money back to Mexico. Well, this is money that would help our economy, help create a stronger American economy that is being hijacked to Mexico. And, and that's, that's a, a serious problem, economic problem.